Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. Before we get started with our countdown video, for Bethel family, we're asking you to check in your family. There's four things you need to know, and it's super simple. All you gotta do is download the Church Center app. Next, you're gonna hit the check-in button down at the bottom. I think we'll leave it second to the right. And then next, you're gonna select your family members that you wanna check in for the service. Last, hit check-in. Super simple, and you're done. Hey everyone, thanks so much for being here with us this morning. My name is Pastor Kehlani. And I'm Pastor Jonathan. And we are so glad that you're here. Happy May. Today is May 3rd. We have some great stuff coming to you all month long. We have a brand new theme called Unstuck. Don't give up. So that's kind of our overarching idea for this month is we're talking about sticky things. And I know life can be sticky and sometimes we need a little bit of determination. So determination. this whole month, it's all about determination and deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So this month, be determined. Let's be determined to finish all the things that God has started in our life and even all those sticky situations we find ourselves in. Talk, think, talking about stickiness, the one thing that I think about being sticky is slime. Ooh. Ooh so I figured this in these next four weeks, we are going to be making slime together. So all you need for today is some cornstarch and tap water. And I'm sure your, your mom or your dad might have that uh, in your in their kitchen. So if you want, go ahead and grab those things. First of all, all I have to say is tomorrow is the 4th. That means it is May the 4th. So if you're around your family, you go May the 4th be with you. It's a Star Wars reference for those of you who don't know. We are big Star Wars fans. So everybody say it with us. Only count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. May, May the 4th be, be with, with you. you. So. Three. Yes. Happy, happy May the 4th, everybody. <laughs> Great job, guys. So at the end of the four weeks, there's actually five weeks in this month. And for the fifth week, one of us is going to be getting slimed. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I have previously been slimed before. I don't even, I think it was our Wheel of Doom. Mm -hmm. We were doing Wheel of Doom. We were raising money for BGMC to send money all over the world to missionaries. And I've been slimed before and it was freezing. That was one thing, is they refrigerated the slime. So that was unfair. So Pastor Jonathan, if it's you, you better bet I'm freezing that sucker. I'm gonna freeze it, I'm gonna put ice in it, I'm gonna make it super, super cold, cause you know it's gonna be him. All I have to say is do unto others that man should do to you. Yeah, and I was already so fine with freezing cold slime. you're gonna put all this ice you and you're now. gonna freeze it and you're gonna end up get losing, so. You're probably gonna have to end up getting it again, nope, right? Not happening. All right, not happening. guys. I'm determined. So, I'm determined. It's not so, gonna be me. So go ahead and grab these ingredients. We are gonna get started in just a minute. Here we go. Prepare audience for maximum impact. All right, guys. Now that you got your ingredients, you got your cornstarch and you got your water. Now, really quick, let me pause right there. We're gonna get a little fancy, and we're gonna try to make some glittery color. This is just food coloring and some glitter. I'm gonna try to add that into my oobleck. Um, and see if it works. We don't know. We're gonna test it no out today. Because normally Oolek is just white. So that's kind of boring. So I got some glitter and some food coloring. So if you guys want to try that as well, if you have some on hand, um, you can you can add that in too. That's, so that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, so basically you get yourself a bowl. Well, get yourself your cornstarch. Right. Careful, this stuff is very messy. <laughs> All right. So actually, first let's get our water. Oh, okay. And we're gonna, water. yeah, we're gonna pour it in. How much water are you pouring in? Um, I poured that much in. You can pour half a cup. You can pour as much as you want because we'll add the cornstarch to get it to the right feeling. So our bowls, if you can't see, our bowls have these little measurements on the side. So right there, that's about half a cup. Okay. So now in our water, because we're gonna add in some extra things, I wanna add them into the water first, um, because if we add it in with the cornstarch, it makes it very hard to mix. If you're familiar with oobleck at all, it is an interesting liquid slash solid. It kind of goes between the two. Um, so it makes it very difficult and interesting to mix things later on. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open up my Do you know where oobleck came from, Master Kenlani? I don't. It actually came from a Dr. Seuss book. Did it really? I don't remember the name of it, but if you guys remember the name of it, maybe you guys remember um, reading it or your parents reading it too. Ooh, like came from Dr. Seuss? Yes, Dr. Seuss. Yeah. I don't think I've ever read that Dr. Seuss book, and I feel like I've read a lot of Dr. Seuss books. I know, me too, but yes, it is definitely a something and the oobleck. I don't remember the, the title of it, but I'm sure some of you do. All right, so I got mine looking Ooh, pretty green. green. Mm, my favorite color. 
cap on there so it doesn't spill in the middle of the place. Okay. All right. Are you gonna add your glitter? I'm gonna add my glitter. I got this black. Is kind of orangey. It's supposed to be pink. Well, it might turn pink with the light. Yeah, we'll see. My food coloring is a little funky, so. No, we'll add a little bit more. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I was gonna make it pink. Do you think pink and pink glitter is a little much? Maybe I'll do white glitter. But then if it turns out, yeah, I'll do white glitter. White glitter? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, where is that thing on there? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm appreciative that they sealed this so much because if you guys have ever used glitter, you know, it gets everywhere. There's just. Her work. Her work. quick. It's not opening. <laughs> um... Please hold. One hour later. Open just trying to open. Still here. <laughs> can you, can you, did you <laughs> Not start at it? All. Can't um, even start it. Oh wait. Oh wait. Two hours later. Ow. Ah, I got it. Got it where? Here, let me see. I think I just put on that. Oh, what did you do? I don't know. Oh, there's you your, your toothpicks. <laughs> Can you guys see that? His broken toothpicks and stuff. Oh, see, look at your glitter's already like all up in the plastic. Mm -hmm. Yours is gonna make a mess. I shouldn't be helping you with it. Okay, you know what? I'm see. I'm just not gonna do glitter. It's fine. Use the other one. I bet you could have right. one faster. Go ahead and put your glitter in. Wait, how does this? <laughs> this is the strangest glitter container I've ever used in my life. I thought. Okay. <laughs> I really want this. I'm determined to use this glitter. Oh wait, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna laugh because it's gonna go all over the place. Oh, it's like a twisty top. Look, that oh. is so clever. So the cap doesn't come off. Yeah, well it should because I need to get the glitter out so I need this little piece to come off. Maybe you just shake it. Like a salt, like a salt, like a salt shaker. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Okay. 3,000 years later. Dear Lord. All right. So now that you got your water, the color if you want, glitter if you want, mix it up. Now comes the cornstarch. Ooh, this is looking so pretty. Even if it does come out orange, look at that. Ooh, Are you the best feeling? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, wait, do I use the same spoon? Because I'm going to get glitter all over the cornstarch. Oh, I'm just gonna shake. Can I shake it? Up? Sure, you can. I don't need to measure it, right? No, nope, it's measure? just. Oh. I'm gonna mix it oh. up as oh, yeah. you're going. As you're going, so you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, black. Oh, this is coming out pink. It is pink. It's like a baby pink. It's like pink. Oh, it's okay. So okay. So mine still feels still just like pure liquid. liquid. So it's we're just pure liquid. One. Okay. So you want it to feel um, like kind of getting as solid, right? We don't mm -hmm. want it to feel total liquidy. I um, oh, see, now that's what you want. See how it's kind of slamming up. So just start mixing it in. Maybe we I'm still too mixing. Much water. I know, I was like, this is a lot of water. We're gonna make a lot of ink black. I mean, all right, well, more corn starch. I thought I added way too much corn starch, but maybe not. So um, talk to your parents before you use all their corn starch because they yeah. might need it for baking or something. Because uh, this is a lot. This is a lot. Or just use like a lot less water. Yeah. This is like a lot. Okay, there we go. How come? Yeah, mine's not even. Use. <laughs> mine's just pure water. <laughs> mine's not solidifying at all. Is it the, maybe the glitter? I mean, like I'm using a lot of corn starch. As you can see, mine is kind of like... Oh, tricky. there we go. Mm. Now it's getting weird. It gets harder to mix. Yeah, now so it's like... like a, kind of like our uh, theme for this month. you got to have this determination and deciding not to give up what you started. All right, there we go. Starting to get smoother. 
How much cornstarch did you use, sir? Um, I, quite a bit. Okay, because I'm like almost the whole can. I'm like halfway through my container right now. Oh, I'm definitely three quarters of. It. Okay, because I'm like this is okay. This is not working for I me. I might have to add some more water after that pour. Oh, now, oh yeah, look at this, guys. I can barely even put the spoon in. Now it's, now it's working. Is okay. It glittery? Oh yeah, it's glittery. Oh look at that! That's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is weird. And then it just turns. Oh, I think you're right. I think I'm gonna need to add more, more water too. I think I put way too much cornstarch at one time. I just can't get it right with this. It's like you add way too much water, or way too much cornstarch. So cool when you move I can't it. even like I can barely even lift the spoon. I'm afraid to lift the spoon because I'm afraid I'm gonna like flick it everywhere. That's good. Whoa! Know. Yours looks cool. Like so perfectly slimy. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Uh, look at this. Oh, see, that's what I was But look at it. Like you can see it on the table. It's, but then if you touch what? it. What? It, it, it gets It's hard, solid. But then you but then you it and it leave turns it in into it. liquid. It's so cool. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm like stabbing this and it's hard. Like I'm not hitting the bowl, I'm hitting the oobleck. And then if I go slow and I put my spoon in and I slowly lift it. Okay, it's solid, but then look. That is cool. It's like slowly falling. This is so trippy. Oh my gosh, look at it. Yeah. This is crazy. It's super hard. And by and the way. You barely put your spoon in and we're going all the way. That is so cool. And also the glitter and food coloring worked. I, I didn't know because I've only made like white oobleck before and that was like a long time ago, maybe a couple years ago. Um, but glitter works. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be here for hours just playing with this, guys. It's so weird. Success, it Success, worked. Success, it worked. All right, you guys. So now you know how you can make oobleck at home, cornstarch and water. If you want to get festive, you can add some glitter, add some food coloring, make it fun. Um, I like to store these in mason jars. If you guys have those at home or any type of like glass jar that you can leave it, um, screw on a top, it keeps it solid for a little while. So you guys have fun. Thanks for joining us on this intro video where we're just making some oobleck. All right, guys. So today's bottom line is keep going even when it seems impossible. Now I want you to say that out loud so that way your parents in the other room hear you on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Keep, Keep going, going even, even when, when it seems impossible. We always talk about and start our services off talking about being the light. Like Matthew 5, 16 says, when we show the light of Jesus, when we show that we are the light of God, it helps others to see him and give him the glory. So the light actually stands for a couple um, things and the L stands for being loving. Make sure we're being loving in your homes and everything we're doing today. The I stands for being including. Mm -hmm. Include your family members and your parents and your friends and what you're doing. Give them a phone call, FaceTime them, give them a Zoom call, whatever you need to do, but let's include others. The G stands for being generous, and not just money, but we can be generous with our talents and our skills and abilities. The H stands for hope filled. That means that we keep our hope in Jesus no matter what, because he never leaves us or forsakes us. And the T stands for team players. Now, one way we love to be team players is through praise and worship. We love to show God how much we love him and honor him with our singing and our dancing. And not to mention, it's a ton of fun. So you guys go ahead and stand your feet, turn your volume up nice and loud because it's our time to tell Jesus how much we love him. So join us as we sing and dance in our praise and worship time.
for joining us for Praise and Worship. Now it's time for our tithes and offerings. So you can give one of three ways today. So grab your mobile devices or your parents if you need to, and you can give online at www.bethel.org slash give. Through our church mobile app is the second way. Um, and the third way is through texting to give. You can text the number 84321. In the message box, you're gonna write the dollar sign, the amount you'd like to give, space BGMC. BGMC is where we give all of our tithes and offerings, and that helps send money all over to missionaries throughout the world. So let's go ahead and pray as we receive our tithes and offering this morning. Lord, we just thank you for all the blessings that we have. Thank you for the offering that's being given today. And Lord, we just ask that the money that is given is going to bless countries and communities and cities of people all over this world, that it's gonna share your good news even further than we ever could. We thank you, we praise you, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, guys, are you ready? Because now it is time for our totally, totally utterly, utterly useless, useless meaningless, meaningless video of the week. week. Here it is. Are you ready guys? Because now it's time for our verse of the week. But first, you guys gotta grab your Bible. So we are gonna give you some time to go grab them. Are you ready? Go grab them. guys I hope you grabbed your Bibles because today's verse is found in can I get drum roll please Matthew 28 19 and 20 and it says this therefore go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. All right, guys. So for those of you who are new, we do something, and it is a game. What we do is we take away words, and you need to fill in the blank. Pastor Kehlani, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's take away our first set. Here we go. Therefore, go make of the... All together, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. All right, guys, we are going to take away some more words. Here we go. Therefore, go make of the baptizing in name all together the father and the son and the holy spirit teach these new disciples to obey all the commands i have given you and be sure of this i am with you always even to the end of the age matthew chapter 28 19 and 20. all right guys we have two left let's look at our next one Therefore, go make of the baptizing in name the and son the spirit these disciples altogether obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. All right, guys, this is our last set of words. I believe in you. Here it is. Therefore, go make of 
the baptizing in name the and son the spirit these disciples obey the I given and sure this am you even the of age where is it found and what verses awesome job guys i am so proud of you you guys completed this it is now time for our game here it is All right, everyone, you saw what our game is called, Crushed It or Crashed It. So we're gonna watch a scene and you have to tell us and guess, did they crush this or do you think they're gonna crash it? So let's do one practice round just to see. So here's our first scene. Ooh. Okay, so we have to guess right here. Do you think they crushed it or crashed it? Crashed it on him, what do you think? Um, I don't know. He it looks pretty cool whatever he's doing but i'm gonna say he crushed it i agree i think he crushed it i think he's gonna land this okay. and be totally fine what All do right. you guys think let's check out our answer here it is oh yes he wow. totally crushed it he did awesome what a great landing that was awesome Okay, now you guys know how to play. Here we go, crushed it or crashed it. Let's see our next scene. Okay, freeze right there. Crushed okay. it or crashed it? What do you think? I, I don't running. know, he doesn't look as like stable. Like his front looks kind of twisted, yeah. but I don't know. I think he's gonna crash it. I don't know. I. I think he has full control and I think he's gonna crush it. All right, All well, right. let's see what happens. Here it is. Jumping on it and just hitting a freestyle ramp in general, let alone throwing a trick like this. Here we go, Jackson Strong attempting the jack. Okay, here we go, he's going up. Oh! Oh! oh yes. Wow! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, he almost got hit by it too! That was so close. Those things wow. must be heavy too. Oh, Snowmobiles? Yeah, about 500 pounds. Wow, that was, he crashed it, but I'm so like glad he was okay. Yeah. yeah, he almost got ran over by his own snowmobile. All right. Wow, okay, next one. Let's see, is this snowmobile gonna crush it or crash it? Actually, it's not a snowmobile. Oh, it's a skier. Wow, that's a really long ramp. It's like a water slide, but snow. That's crazy looking. Oh my gosh, he's like he looks like one of the flying squirrels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I've never seen that. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Crushed it or crashed it? I think he's gonna crash it. I mean, uh, he's like flat. Uh, I level. think he's gonna crush it. I'm gonna say crush it. Okay. I don't know much about skiing, so uh, we'll see. Let's check what out do you the guys answer. Think? Here it is. Ski jumping and ski flying on a Sunday. That is so steep. All right, here we go. He's going down. Let's see. That's crazy. And flying squirrel. Literally flying. Wow. Oh no! Crushed. Or totally crashed it. He totally crashed it. Man, that's got to be a crazy crash to get to do that. Seriously. Ooh, scary. It like he twisted his ankle. I mean, Ouch. how could you not? Because yeah. your skis are one way and your body's another way? I don't know. All right, next scene. Let's check it out. Crushed it or crashed it? Tell us what you guys think. Okay, here's a snowboarder. Pastor Jonathan, you love to snowboard. I love to snowboard. I've actually never been snowboarding. Okay, but my, my brother's a big snowboarder too. A lot of our family and friends are snowboarders. So this looks like just tricks up a half pipe, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. He's doing like, oh, uh -huh. that was like a spinning one. That was different than the other one. Uh, I, I think he's gonna crush it. I'm gonna say he crashes this. I, really? Yeah, 
I'm gonna say he crashed it because they showed all of these of him landing it. You're, it's gonna make you think that he's gonna land this next one. Yeah. But I'm gonna say he landed crashed the first it. like three. Yeah. So you say crashed it. I say crushed it. Let's check out our answer. Here it is. Here we go. Take note to the middle of his ride. And they all look really similar. Okay, here's the one where he flips him. Oh! Yes! Crushed it! Wait, it's not over yet. Oh! That's not fair. He crashed it right on the last thought... flip. You were right. Oh, wait, I was right. You said crashed okay, it. Okay, never mind. Because yeah, he crushed the one. Well, he crushed the one that they showed us, but then crashed at the end. So technically, yeah. we're both right. I guess so. Okay. okay, a few more. Here we go. Crushed it or crashed it. Another snowboarder. Here we go. Another half pipe. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, grabs the snowboard. Cool. Oh, he looks like his arms are like flailing a little bit up there. Didn't look super stable. Ooh, he looks like he's going to No, he looks kind of like he's like flailing around. Didn't look like he had much control. I'm going to say crashed it. I'm going to say crashed it. I'm going to say I'll be there with you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think he's going to crash. I don't think this is going to turn out so good. Okay. Oh, poor guy. Let's see. I hope I'm wrong for his sake. I dislocated my shoulder on a half pipe. Just like this? Just like this. Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Oh my goodness. So, crashing on never... snow is not fluffy and soft. Not always. Oh my gosh. He Wait, landed He's doing it. good. Hold on, but remember the other one. He yeah. went down at the end. Okay, he's still doing good. Did he? He, he got crushed it. it. I'm, he I'm did glad, great. I'm happy. I'm glad he didn't crash. Both got it wrong. All right, this yeah, is okay. our final one. Crush it or crash it? Let's see. Let's see. Whoa. Oh racing. my gosh! Wait, Down this is a racing. team. Oh, wait, these these are individuals. They're not on a team. I believe they're individuals. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, that's wait, not, that's much. not much to go off of. They all look like they're just. I'm gonna along. guess crash it, and everyone's gonna crash. That, I mean, that makes sense because they're so close together, but... One's going to crash and then everyone's going to be like one. a domino effect. It's like a NASCAR race. When yeah. one goes down, it's like trickles. All right. Are you ready? Uh, what are you, what are you guessing? I don't know what... I, I think you're right. I think they're going to crash or crash it. I think they're going to crash. Okay. Okay, let's see. Here it. we go. Final answer. Final answer. Crash. crash. All right. Here we go. Okay. Little bump. Little bump. Another oh, little bump. Right oh! Oh! The the one green. down, two down, three, was four! Was the domino effect? Boom, what boom. in the world? Yeah, we're right. Wait, they're getting back up! Oh, wow. Talk about determination. They are still... Look at that. They're going back to the race as if nothing the happened. The race is not over until wow. you finish. That yeah. is amazing. And that is totally... That's such a great example of determination, which is this month's overarching theme. Now, today's bottom line is keep going everybody say keep going keep going even when it seems impossible see to me that crash would have seemed impossible i thought i would be out i'm done what was me i lost but those guys kept going they picked themselves up they put their ski back on and they kept going yeah that was amazing all right guys i'm glad that you were able to play that game with us now it is time for our lesson so here it is the bible it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the books of Matthew, Luke, and Acts. When Jesus returned to life, roller coasters hadn't been invented yet. But as far as his friends were concerned, they might as well have been living on one wild coaster ride. Peter and Matthew might have gone over the whole story one more time as they walked the dusty roads from Galilee back towards Jerusalem. Remember how it started? Jesus does all these miracles. Thousands of people gathered to listen to him. And we hear God's voice saying, this is my son and I love him. But then he gets all those threats from the religious leaders. And he ignores them all and raises Lazarus to life. That lousy Judas betrays him. The religious leaders arrest him. And I run away like a fool. And Jesus is killed. 
but he comes back to life. And now we get to hang out with him. I think he's got big plans. Did you hear how he told me at the lake to take care of his followers? And what he said to us all on the mountain in Galilee. About making new disciples? Yeah. So you must go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you, and you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Big job. How do you remember all this stuff? I record it. You should write a book sometime. I'm still not so sure about the Holy Spirit part. Same. But Jesus is here with us now. We can do anything while he stays with us. Forever! Ahead, Peter and Matthew and the other disciples could see Jerusalem in the distance, the temple rising above the other buildings. He said to meet him back in Jerusalem. For the Feast of Pentecost, probably. That would be the perfect time for him to do something big. If he wants followers in all nations, that must mean we take over Israel first, right? I don't know about the takeover part. As Jesus' friends returned to Jerusalem, Jesus led them to a hill outside the city near Bethany. Nice view of the city from here. I bet he's finally going to give us all the big plan now. He already did. Make disciples of all nations. Yeah, but how? Is he going to gather 50,000 people at Pentecost? Or maybe he'll take us all with him on an epic road trip. He probably wouldn't have brought us all up here if he didn't have something big to say. Sure enough, as they ate a meal on the side of the hill, Jesus told them, Do not leave Jerusalem. Wait for the gift my father promised. In a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. There's the Holy Spirit thing again. Peter couldn't take it anymore. He had to ask. Lord, are you going to give the kingdom back to Israel now? Everyone stopped talking, then looked to Peter, then to Jesus, who shook his head. You should not be concerned about times or dates. The Father has set them by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria. And you will even tell other people about me from one end of the earth to the other. The disciples exchanged glances. Okay, you did say the all nations part already, but wh where will you be? And please, can you explain how the Holy Spirit's going to help us? As Jesus smiled at his friends, he lifted his hands and spoke a blessing over them. He's not answering the question. As Jesus was speaking, something incredible happened. Slowly, he began to rise into the air. He's standing in the air. How is he standing in the air? Jesus' friends stared, mouths open. Soon, a cloud hid him from view, but they continued to gape. Men of Galilee. The disciples blinked and finally looked down to discover two tall men dressed in white standing right beside them. Why do you stand here looking at the sky? Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven, but he will come back in the same way you saw him go. Come back? Come back when? But the men in white were gone. He did say, don't be concerned about times or dates. But he just gave us the biggest job ever. Tell everyone in the whole world about him? There's got to be a plan. The Holy Spirit. I think the Holy Spirit is the plan. But we don't know what the Holy Spirit is. Jesus said to wait in Jerusalem. So, wait. That's the plan? That's the plan for now. Jesus gave his followers what seemed to be an impossible job. Share the story of Jesus and his love for every nation across the entire world. But soon, he gave them everything they needed to not only start the job, but keep going. Jesus had told the disciples to wait in Jerusalem because soon God would be sending the Holy Spirit to help them. Jesus had given them what seemed to be an impossible job to share his story and his love with every nation across the entire world. They waited for the Holy Spirit to come. They trusted that God would give them what they needed. Jesus had given us the same mission to tell others about him. It's like our bottom line for today. Keep going even when it seems impossible. No matter what we face in life, we can keep going. 
even when it seems impossible, what are some impossible things that we have faced? You know, it might seem impossible to reach the whole entire world, but what if I told you to eat an entire cow? What? Yeah, put a cow. Let me stroll in Betsy right here. No way. And say, Pastor Kaylani, are you gonna eat this whole cow? Mm -mm. Nope. Can't do it. Well, did you know the average human eats more than one cow? I think it's like six cows in their lifetime. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. And they don't start with the whole entire thing, but they start with one bite at a time. Wow. And it's the same thing with what God is asking us to do. He's not asking us to go on a megaphone and tell the whole entire world, but we need to start where we're at. We need to start with our family, with our neighbors, with our friends at school. And all it is is one bite at a time. And you know, as you get bigger and bigger, they're gonna tell other people who's gonna tell other people. And you know, some of those might be missionaries who's gonna go into the other countries and be able to share their gospel. And it all started with you. So don't give up, but keep going even when it seems impossible. Let's pray. God, we thank you for who you are. God, you died on the cross for us. And God, for everyone else in this world, Lord, I pray, God, that you have given us a job, and that is to go into all the world and preach the good news. Jesus, we won't wait until we're an adult, but God, we can start now, God, with our friends and with our loved ones. So Jesus, give us the courage and the boldness to be able to step out. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We hope you have a great week. Talk to you later. Okay, before you go, don't exit out yet. Stay here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bethel Kids SJ. Subscribe because when we get to 100 subscribers, Pastor Jonathan, myself, and Silvana are going to get whipped cream pie in the face. So I'm sure you don't want to miss that. I know you want to see that. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much, you guys. We can't wait to see you next week.